we started out 23 and 3. Somewhere after we beat Oregon, there became expectations. So we return a lot of guys who've gone through this, and uh, that that helps. They, they understand that every game this is going to be a sellout crowd, and a big deal, no matter who we play. They, I think they have a understanding that a win over us is a, is a significant win. The value of experience is invaluable. And uh, having gone through it, and these, these guys are pretty tight. They understand what's coming. And uh, so that should work in our favor. 13 of 15 starters returned from San Diego, Gonzaga, and ourselves. And all three teams went to the tournament last year. So we knew the league was going to be strong at the top. And USF, they've done a good job there. Santa Clara, I think, is going to uh, do well down the stretch here, too. I always say you're as good as your senior leadership, and we, we have five seniors this year, and five seniors are good players. The Diamond had so much experience, and Eno Leary, kind of one of our unsung heroes, he does all the dirty work, and Carlin Hughes, those guys have had big minutes, and Lucas Walker and Yusa Smith have played significant roles for us over the past two years. So we, uh, we're relying on them, uh, yet we still we have some underclassmen that provide significant roles also. So I think the strength of our team is our depth. The guys who are coming off the bench are just as key as the guys who are starting. And ben Allen, I think he's going to be a big impact to us. He gives us another inside guy who can really score and pass. He's got a great feel for the game. But uh, he's big inside, so he gives us some rebounding. And then Wayne Hunter is something we were missing last year. And Wayne's a very good defender. And he's, he's kind of our perimeter defensive stopper. He's, he's more than that. He, he, he can give you offense and slash the baskets. I think those two guys off the bench, Lucas Walker and Yusuf Smith and Mickey McConnell, all those guys give us good depth. And these guys enjoy playing with one another. They share the ball. I think uh, our bench is key for us to be successful this year. Patty playing in the, in the Olympics is unbelievable. I, I, I doubt I'll ever coach a guy that's in the Olympics again. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime thing for me. But for Patrick, I think he'll play in about three or four Olympics. But just to be able to do it when he's so young is, is uh, Great experience. It's helped him confidence-wise, leadership-wise, and I know it's fun for our coaching staff and our players to have one of our guys playing in that arena. There's been a lot of uh, talk about it, and garnered a lot of attention through it, and garnered our program a lot of attention. He deserves all the credit he gets for that. He's, he really did a good job in the Olympics. One of the little identification marks of our program is uh, having these Australian guys over here and they've done a great job for them. They provide minutes, points, experience, so they, they, they're valuable there. They have a great attitude about being part of a team and, and our student body has uh, gotten behind them and they're very much part of the student body and, and so it's, again, it, it, makes it, uh, it makes it fun to coach because they have tremendous attitudes about being teammates. The student body, Gale Force, it makes this place. We, I think we have one of the toughest places to play in the West. And I haven't been to all of them. I just know this place is a tough place to play. And it's because of our fans, our students. They're part of our program. These are their, their classmates, their friends, and they, they cheer for them like that. We were 15-1 at home last year. And so I, I think it, it gives us a home court advantage that it's, it's, uh, really helps us. These guys enjoy playing with one another, they share the ball, they, they have good relationships on and off the court. So it's, uh, it's a special team that way, a fun team to coach. One, two, three, four.